Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Mike here from Team Hero Adventure. Thank you again for watching. Right today, I'm making a, I know it's a lot of bread, banana bread menu um, recipe out there, but I will show you how I make mine. So I have a couple of ripe banana, you can put, you can put the recipe card with three ripe banana, you can put add more if you want. Depends if you add more flour or more ingredients. So I have like, I have two regular ones, I have a couple of small ones, that's why I have overripe. So instead of throw it away, I will just use it to make a banana bread. So let me show you the ingredients I have here to make the banana bread. So here's the ingredients I have over here. I have two cups of flour, a purpose flour. I have a cup of butter, room temperature, salt, you know, over here. One tablespoon uh, baking soda, two eggs over there, three quarter cup of sugar. You can, depends how sweet you want it because the banana is sweet. So I put three quarter cup of sugar, half teaspoon of salt. If you use unsalted butter, then you use more salt, but this is uh, not unsalted butter. The butter is not unsalted. Half teaspoon of Himalayan salt. So this is what we're adding to the banana to make the banana bread. You can add raisin if you want, it's optional. What I will do, I will add some cinnamon and some vanilla. You can add all the dry ingredients together. Baking soda in the flour. You can add the salt in the flour. You can add the sugar. For the butter, what we do, I'm going to pour the egg inside the butter, mix these two together here. And this recipe, you don't need any kind of mixture, you don't need any kind of machine, you don't need anybody to uh, mix it up. So what we can do, we can take this spatula, mix up all the dry ingredients here. And we're going to bake this for like 25 to 30 minutes. We're going to add the butter mixture in here. And the banana, I have a fork. I have a fork, we're going to mash it up. When you have your ripe banana, if it's over right, don't chew it out. You can make a lot of different recipes with this banana. It's nice. Add a, like a half a teaspoon of vanilla. We add a little cinnamon. You can add the cinnamon in the flour before, but it, you could add it here now too. It uh, still works. So we can mix this up. So all you need is just one of this spatula here. You don't, need, you don't need a hot mixer, you don't need any kind of mixer. Simple and easy. Really easy to make. This recipe, this banana bread. So now if you, if you want, it's optional. If you want to add some raisin, now is the best time to add your raisin. You can add some walnut in here also if you want. You don't want to over mix it once it gets smooth and nice. See, it's nice and smooth. Perfect here. Alright, so I have a loaf pan here. I grease it with butter, put flour in it, shake around the flour. And the rest of it I just shake it out. Because there's no flour left in there. Just whatsoever, sort of coat the pan. That's it inside here. So we go. Pour our butter inside this pan. So guys, you see, this is all you need for this to make this, this banana bread, real simple. So we are level this up in here. So as you bake, then you rise up. It's good. You can just go like this. Okay, right, so that's the banana bread there. Put it in the oven. 25 torments when it comes out I will show you what it looks like. Alright guys, so the banana bread is finished. I just take it out of the oven. Let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so that's the banana bread. Nice and spongy. Quick and easy banana bread. Not hard to make. Eat it for dinner. After dinner you knock it with a cup of coffee or something. So we can take it out of here now. Alright, so you can take it out and you see once you coat the pan with the flour, it don't stick inside, it comes out real easy. Let's put it over. Out. 
Nice. Easy quick banana bread. Right, so I've got my uh, bread knife here. Look. Nice and spongy. Really nice banana bread. Alright guys, so that's my recipe for the banana bread. Hope you like it. Give it a try. That's how I do it and it really tastes good. And the best thing when you make your homemade bread, cake, any pastry you make, you can add your own stuff. You don't have to worry about all this added stuff that is store box that you buy at the store. They have a lot of added stuff in the, into it. You can adjust your sweet, the sugar. You don't want it too sweet. You can put less sugar, less anything you want, you know. So it's good when you bake your own homemade, right? It's more healthy for you. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you like this recipe. Give it a try. Leave me a comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right. See you back soon in the next adventure.